what you can do is there's an app out there called Is It Vegan? Hi, welcome back to my channel, Plant Face Becky. So I recently did this poll on my personal Instagram, Becky Wartman, because I didn't want there to be a vegan bias. I just wanted it to be like general population answering my questions. But I asked if a variety of different products were vegan or not. And I have to tell you, most people did not know. I'm not surprised, there's a lot of confusion between which products are vegan and which products are not. So I'm going to go ahead and answer all the products that I had on my quiz. And then at the end of the video, I will share how you can tell if a product is vegan by looking at the ingredients and the food label on the product. So now I will start giving you the answers to some of the products that were on my vegan quiz. Uh, first we had Skinny Pop White Cheddar Popcorn. And the verdict is, Yes, that is vegan. So it's kind of confusing sometimes. There are like cheddar flavored things um, and you would assume that means it has dairy in it. But Skinny Pop is one of those products that the white cheddar flavor is in fact vegan. There is no dairy in it. Another product that I had on my quiz was Cliff Bars. Most Cliff Bars are in fact vegan, yes. Um, I think 95% of the flavors are vegan, so most likely to get a clip bar is vegan. So good news there. Another product that I had on my quiz was a yogurt made um, from almond milk. It was a silk brand yogurt, and I believe it was peach flavored. And the verdict on that is, yes, it is also vegan. I have to tell you, yogurt is one of the most easily replaced um, products. You can eat a vegan version of yogurt and honestly not taste a difference from the dairy yogurts. They are quite good. Uh, and not only is there a silk brand, but there's other brands out there as well. There's almond-based ones and there's soy-based ones. And there's even cashew-based yogurts and they're really good. Another product that I had on my quiz was Halo Top Ice Cream. And the verdict on that one is Okay, it's not vegan. But this is kind of a trick question because, so the originally Halo Top had dairy in every single ice cream that they made, but about probably a year ago, they came out with their non-dairy Halo Top line. And you can get almost every single flavor in the non-dairy line now. If you're trying to avoid dairy, check in the bottom right corner and it says dairy free on the Halo Top. So good news for Halo Top lovers. So another product that I had in my quiz was a pizza pocket item. And the verdict on that one is, yes, it's vegan. I believe it said vegan right on the front in the picture. So for those that said no, you probably didn't read, but that's okay. And I have actually never tried this product, but I wanted to share it because it's just one of those specialty products that you would think you could never find a vegan version. It's like basically like a Hot Pocket and it's pepperoni pizza flavored and yet they make that in a vegan version. Another product that was on my quiz was gummy bears and this is another one that was sort of a trick question. So this product is, yes, they were vegan. Most gummy bears out there um, are not vegan because they have gelatin in them and gelatin is basically ground up animal bones and like horns. Um, it's pretty disgusting that that's even a food item to begin with, but it is. Um, so most gummy bears do have that. If you really want vegan gummy bears, they do exist and 
These ones I pictured in my photo were from Lucky's Market in the bulk section. Just check the ingredients on the gummy bears and make sure there is no gelatin in them. Also, there are other gummies that are vegan, like Swedish Fish, Sour Patch Kids, Sour Patch Watermelon. All do not contain any gelatin and are completely vegan. So check those out if you aren't, you know, in a place where you can get gummy bears. I think the final product on my quiz was Mrs. Butterworth's butter flavored syrup and this product is 100% vegan yes so this is another kind of confusing one because it says butter right in the name of the product right in the flavor um, and yeah it's 100% vegan there is no dairy there is no butter in this product whatsoever um, so if you're a pancake lover and go ahead and enjoy so all that information isn't to memorize, I just wanted to share some fun products um, and whether or not they are vegan. I wanted to clarify today how in fact you can decide if a product is vegan or not by reading the labels. Common allergens in the United States have to be in bold on an ingredient list. So the two most common allergens that are not vegan are milk and eggs. If a product contains milk or eggs below the list of all the ingredients will be in bold, this product contains milk or eggs. And then you would very clearly know it is not vegan. So here's what I mean when I say that the common allergens are listed below in bold. Um, here is a box of like Ritz crackers and the ingredients. Right here it says contains wheat and soy. So those are the two common allergens. You can see it does not contain milk or eggs and it would say right here so I can be pretty sure that this product is vegan if you look and see that there's no milk or eggs in a product it's probably vegan I would say like 95% chance that it's vegan but to be a hundred percent sure that it's vegan you would have to read through the list of ingredients and the major ones to look out for would be gelatin and honey even then you might not be a hundred percent sure it's vegan but right by now you're like 99% sure. Today, a lot of products have vegan labels right on the front. It will say vegan. So let me show you. So I just grabbed two random products. I have um, these Skinny Pop cheddar flavored um, mini cakes. Um, these are delicious, by the way. And it labels right on the front, certified vegan right there. So anytime you see that, um, you can be sure it's vegan. And then uh, I also grabbed Kashi because they label right on the side, vegan right there. So you wouldn't even have to look at the ingredients. So a lot of brands make it super easy to know that the product you're buying is 100% vegan. If it does not say it on the product and you're still not sure after reading the ingredients, what you can do is there's an app out there called Is It Vegan? So now I'm going to show you how this app works. I apologize, I had to switch to my computer to start filming because I usually film on my phone. We get to see my phone, so here we go. Here's the app, it's called Is It Vegan? It's free in the app store. And you open it, and you hit scan on the bottom right here. And first thing I'm going to scan is these Costco chocolate chips, which are vegan by the way, but we're going to find out. Oh, look at that, 100% vegan. Um, so it lists the ingredients, and it'll list which ones are vegan and which ones are not vegan, so you can learn for the future. But everything here has four ingredients in it, and everything was vegan. Next thing I'm going to scan is the Staya. It's a cheesy mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, deluxe white mac and cheese. It says probably vegan. 23 vegan ingredients. One typically vegan ingredient. And one unknown ingredient. Um, typically vegan is lactic acid. Unknown occurring mineral. So I would guess a mineral is vegan. Um, lactic acid, typically vegan. Um, you can be pretty sure this is vegan, but if you weren't sure, right there, it says vegan right on the label. And then the last thing I have is this um, Asian noodle pad thai. It's by Dr. McDougall. He makes 
awesome videos, awesome cookbooks. I recommend you look him up. Asian Entree Pad Thai, another ad. Asian Entree McDougal, um, definitely vegan, 22 vegan ingredients. So you can be 100% sure that that's vegan. So super easy and this app is free on the app store. Really can't get much easier than that, love technology. So I really hope you enjoyed my video and you have a little bit better understanding of how you can tell if a product is vegan or not. And even if you're not like vegan or looking to be, this can be useful to know because you can buy snacks for your friends that are vegan, like me. Or maybe you have someone coming over for dinner and they happen to be vegan and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna make? So you can look at some products that you have in your household and I bet you a lot of them are already vegan and you won't have to worry too much. But if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and remember to hit subscribe below so you can get notified every time I post something new. I'm really enjoying making these videos and I'm hearing good feedback so I will continue to make them and continue to post every Sunday. See you next time.